I'll explain another time where I kind of thug some guy for the police. There's this dude at a party, another party, by a river. But for some reason, my girlfriend wanted him not to drown. And he's persistent. He was going to kill himself for some reason. And everybody was like, don't let that guy kill himself. So I dragged him out of a really fast river. And he kept trying to run into the river for some reason. And I was like, no, don't run into the river. You'll die. So he was like punching me in the face. And everybody was like, Robin, Robin, like, don't hurt him too bad. Like, he's important to us. So I didn't, I wrestled him and I was like shaking and getting him to sober up and had my clothes on obviously. And then I ended up carrying him away from the river after I finally had enough and then knocked him out. I didn't kill him. I just like punched him out. Like, I was like, I've had enough of this. You punched me in the face and elbowed me in the face enough times it's my turn to give you a whack. Got the drop on him with a punch. And then my girlfriend was like, Well, we can't just leave him here. He's going to kill himself. And I was like mildly drunk at this point because we'd been fighting all night and he was persistent. I was like drinking in between fights because it was a party. And I carried him up, up the Riverside Bank, which there's more Riverside Bank, to a terrain trestle bridge. And uh, then I was like, Okay, Morgan. Oh, name drop, but whatever. Um, I'm done with this dude. Like, he beat me up. He's knocked out. What are we going to do? I'm not carrying him the rest of the way across this bridge because he might sober up and throw me off this bridge. And she said, and she went and called the police. It was probably a smart thing to do, but I didn't really like the police back then. Never really did. But she called the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And they're like, what the heck? You're like beating a pub a girl with your girlfriend here and some native guy and he's got like a big black eye so the police dragged him uh, with help from me because I helped some more because the police couldn't carry him they needed their energy for the rest of the night or something to the road after they helped me get him across this bridge but guess what he sobered up and threw me off the bridge and then I swam to the other side, and then the police dragged him to the road because he that was a crime. I landed in the water, I swam to the other side on the side where the road was. And the police were really mad because I was underage and drinking. And the tribal police showed up. And they were like, no, 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 she's chill. Like, she's just like us. Don't get mad at her for drinking. It's like a First Nation thing. They drink at a young age. Get mad at this dummy that almost murdered her. And I don't know what happened to that guy. But I invited a friend of mine to stay at Morgan's house that night. Who was a First Nation man. Who liked me. And was nicer to me. Not going to say his name. He called him Fatty. Yeah, because he always got fatties for me but also because he was like a big stout man and um guess what it was a good night after that and it was fun we chilled he left in the morning hitchhiked home or caught a ride or whatever and that was the end of that situation but in that time when I was about to leave because I was trying to get out of the, the area before I landed in the river again friggin Royal Canadian Police they wanted to press a charge on me for underage drinking and ludity because the river was so fierce I was naked but it never happened the tribal police convinced them not to and I ended up catching a different charge going to Surrey Rehab for it of uttering threats and assault with a weapon but I was like I'm a trained fighter in the fighting forces of Canada like this is a deadly weapon, my pointer finger. Like, I expected that to screw me over more, but it didn't because they were like, good point. Like, that guy wasn't hurt either. And you were just kind of like, sh 
sharpening a knife in front of him. And he like tried to run me over but broke my legs. So I guess I'm on some like, as they say, dumbass shit in life. And men rule the world. Hooray. But uh, yeah, I could have been prettier. That's my regrets. If I just ditched out, I might have caught a murder charge on some other dumbass shit. That they would have just like said you could have saved him and he died. But I did him a solid because that guy's still alive being a douchebag or something. And the other guy that I beat up on the new side still out being a douchebag. They were just shamed because I guess they're like homosexual faggots or something. They wanted to beat up a chick because she was hot. Or they were like too proud of their heterosexuality.